Look, honey, most men are not looking for wives. They're looking for mothers. There's no way that you want me to cook three times a day, clean up all week, work a full-time job, massage your back, massage your feet, run your bath water for free? Now, I know when you were a young lad, your mother may have done that for you for free because you came out of her cooter. It was her responsibility to do that for you, to provide for you in that fashion, to make sure you showered and brushed your teeth every day, to do your laundry, to cook for you, to make sure you went to school and had everything that you needed. But if you want to pass the torch from your mother to another woman, you have to make that woman your wife and you have to provide for her. That seems to be a huge issue in the black community for men to grasp that concept. I'll be having mommy and daddy issues, so y'all be trying to find somebody to fill that void, but that is not what a woman is for. Mm -mm. You don't see men of other races doing that in other nationalities and things of that nature. They literally provide for their women. Their women are able to stay home. And I'm not saying that these men are perfect in other areas, but they seem to have that down pat. No matter how bad the economy is, it seems to me like women of other cultures still are able to stay home. And then y'all sit up there and blame black women for being masculine when y'all don't protect or provide for us. It doesn't make sense to envy other men's options in their cultures or to seek those women out when you can actually just do what the men are doing that are making those women more feminine and more submissive you get what i'm saying of course you have more time to be beautiful and luxurious and fit and less stressed out when a man is doing his job for you not to do your job and blame the actual women in your own culture that you're not taking care of is absurd absolutely absurd like these women in these other cultures are so quiet they're so modest they're so submissive and they're so dainty and classy well do you know what the men are doing i mean it doesn't make sense they're raised to actually be that way because their men are actual providers and protectors us women are not raised to be that way we're raised to be strong independent and able to fend for ourselves because we get thrown to the wolves. We don't get married off to men. And our options within our own culture are very scarce when it comes to actual men. We got to be for real. Most men are not looking for all that because it is impossible. Where do women be getting all this narrative from? No guy has ever said this nonsense. I just know she's been watching way too many Tyler Perry movies to think like this. Most women are not looking for husbands either. They be looking for fathers. They be talking like, my dad buys me everything I want, or I hold men to the same standard of my dad. It is ironic how y'all can ask for providers and do literally nothing. At the end of the day, dusties will attract dusties. Men and women dusties, please find each other so y'all can give this internet a break. It's like everyone is out here projecting their broken family dynamics onto potential partners instead of seeing them as individuals. But hey, compatibility is more than just checking off boxes on a list. I think it's time for a lot of men and women to do some self-reflection instead of expecting others to fill in a role they never signed up for. To all the men and women out there, please do what's best for your relationship. Don't follow the internet nonsense. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.